congenital defects, example clefts. The development of an individual is a complicated and delicately balanced process. Any malfunction during this process produces congenital defects. Facial clefts usually result from a deficiency of mesenchyme in the facial region which is normally caused by failure of neural crest cells to migrate or failure of facial mesenchyme to proliferate. Facial clefts such as the oblique facial cleft results from lack of fusion between the maxillary process and the lateral nasal process. The median cleft lip results from the lack of fusion between the two medial nasal processes. The bilateral cleft lip results from the lack of fusion between the maxillary process and the median nasal process. Microstomia. This is due to excessive merging or macrostomia which results from failure of the maxillary and mandibular processes to merge. The mandibular cleft, this is rare and results from the lack of merging of the mandibular process. Clefts of the face and the palate have different causes. Those of the lip and anterior maxilla result from defective development of the embryonic primary palate. Often, when such clefts occur, the distortion of the facial development prevents the palatine shelves from making contact when they swing into the horizontal position. Thus, clefts of the primary palate are often associated and accompanied by clefts of the secondary palate, both hard and soft. We now understand how the primitive oral cavity is formed.